Taurus placements. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. Let's see what's happening. Wow. This is a person that you broke up with, whether this is recently or not. I don't give a fuck about time. Um, you know, don't, I personally don't believe in fucking the illusion of time. But whether, whether this is recent or not, it feels like this person is still stuck on you. It feels like this person is trying their best to be distracted by other things, anything but love, in order to avoid facing the truth about being stuck on you. I feel like they want to reconcile or fix things, but they also know that it's not possible, or maybe they think it's not possible. And they have their guard up, yeah. It's like they don't want it to be possible. It's almost like this person is convincing themselves that things are over between the two of you. So that they don't reconcile with you or don't want to fix things with you. <sighs> they don't want to reconcile with you. But they do. On a deep level, this person wants to reconcile with you because they're still stuck on you. But on a conscious level, they don't want to. It's like they don't want that to be the truth. It's like, you know when people say time heals all things or time will heal? Yeah, they're waiting for that. When will I be healed from Taurus? I'm distracting myself until time heals. You know what I mean? They're like waiting for time to fix things, waiting for time to pass, for it to be like, you know, they're waiting for time to do its thing, to heal things. Not between the two of you, to, to heal, to kind of like release you. Because this person wants to release you, but they are not able to. Not yet. And this person is thinking, well, I'll get over it. Time heal all time heals all things, or time time will take care of this. Ooh, I feel stuck on Taurus. I feel like like okay, so I, I still want Taurus, but I don't want to be with Taurus. So I'm gonna wait for time to take care of this, so that I get over them. So currently, this person is kind of relying on time for a time to pass. For a time to allow them to move on from you. Because you are basically occupying their energy. I feel like, Taurus, you are living in their head rent-free, as they say. Because it seems like you are constantly on their mind. And they try to distract themselves. They could be, I don't know why I'm getting that, but they could be listening to loud music. Whether this is in the car or at home, in order to get you out of their head. It's not like, it's not like, <laughs> it's not like just normal distractions. I feel like it's almost like they are trying to brainwash themselves into forgetting you. It's like loud music so that they don't have any space for any, any memories or it's like they're trying to focus fully on the music fully on other things in order not to think of you because maybe this person is like even when they're doing something for example you know mundane things driving washing doing chores or talking to a friend you're you're there you're there you're there talking through them no, not talking not talking through them you know what i mean like you're there you're you're in their head and they can't, they can't shut you up. They want to, but I can't. They, they, it's like they can't, they can't get rid of you. So the, the normal level of distraction is not working so far. So I feel like this person is kind of like 
doing the next thing and going going to extremes with loud music so that they can't hear you. They could be doing some extreme things as well, I want to say. Um, like, I don't know, they could be doing like some thrilling things. They could be going on adventures or they could be going uh, or doing things usually they wouldn't do. And that's all their attempt to forget about you, to silence your voice in their head. It's like you're living there in their head. So they're hoping that it's just like, it's just a period of time and then you'll go away soon. You know, I feel like this person is doing it to themselves because I do see that they could be stalking you. It's like they, they want to know what's, what's up with you even though they don't want to do anything with you. It's like they don't want anything to do with you but at the same time they still stalk you. I feel like this person is curious if you've moved on. It's almost like it's a competition. Ooh, who's gonna move on first, me or Taurus? Maybe this person thinks that, I don't know, like it must be an ego thing because it seems like they wanna find out if you will be the one that first moves on or them. Maybe they're trying to kind of like analyze Who's, whose loss is it, really? Do you know what I mean? You know when you, you know when people move on after a relationship? And the other person will be like, oh, Well, you've moved on quickly, so you never loved me, huh? Like, it's almost like they're trying to measure by how quickly, by how quickly you move on to see how much you actually cared for them. And they want to know if you will be the one that moves on first or them moving on first. Which is, which is like weird curiosity, but that's what we have. Interesting. I feel like they want to move on first. <laughs> it's like, it's your loss. I was the prize. They want to move on first. Kind of, they kind of want to see you not move on and kind of like be sad and about the, the disconnect. They kind of are hoping to see that actually. So for example, for example, if you post on social media like a sad song or something about relationships, a quote or something, it that will make them like feel good because they don't want you to move on before them <sighs> interesting so they actually want to move on first because in their head it's about if if they if they get to move on then it means that they are the price i don't know like this person's logic is a little bit interesting and I say interesting to be nice. Why is it a fucking competition? <laughs> Who moves on first? That's, that's just weird. So this person, like, I do see that this person is dating other people or trying to date other people, at, at least. Maybe they're trying to put themselves out there, whether they go out on, on dates or not. It's the intention that I see here. So I do see other people, them trying to distract themselves with other people or the company of others to try to get out of this hold you have on them. I feel like this person is wondering if they have that same hold on you too. Maybe that's why they're stalking you. It's like, do I have that effect on you or is it just me? Why do I, why do I feel like that? Do you feel the same? I feel like they wonder. And they're trying to analyze, you know, however they stalk you, if they have that hold on you still or not. 
This is why I say when when they see if you're posting on social media or something like that, if they see like a sad post, it's like, oh, you, yeah, you're still thinking about me. So it makes them feel good somehow. Feel good about them not being over you. It's like they're not the only one that's going through that. Okay. I mean... Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck is what I have to say about this? What the fuck? Okay. You know, honestly, I feel like it's a competition. It's a competition for this person. It's like they want to be the one that appears that is having a good time without you. That their life is better without you. That they don't need you. Oh shit. Oops. You know, it's I feel like it's an ego thing. Or maybe it's it's a fucked up thing. Maybe this person needs therapy, I don't know. But it seems like it seems like they want to make sure that they appear that they are doing well and you're not. Or they want to make sure that they appear the one that is like a winner by the disconnect. Do you know what I mean? You know when you know when uh, couples break up, it's like someone is always pretending, or maybe the both of them, you know, but someone is always pretending that they're doing really well after the breakup, when really they're not. I feel like this this person is trying to do that. This person is trying to be like, yeah, I'm doing way better without you. And that's a fucking lie. Come here, bitch. I didn't catch it. Do your thing, catch the flies. She's not in the mood. So, Taurus, if anything, this is actually fucking sad. You know when people pretend and they're trying to have the upper hand after the breakup? It's kind of sad if you think about it. <laughs> kind of tells you everything you need to know. That this person is not doing well, but they're pretending that things are well so that they don't, you know, look like the sore loser or they don't look like they are the loser in the after the breakup, you know? Yeah, oh my God. This person could be publicly um, putting other people on display. Wow. Meaning they could be... They could be, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be like dates. It could be like friends or them having a good time and they post that on social media. It's like, hey, look at me. I'm having a lot of fun. I have people around me, good people around me. This could be colleagues, family, friends, possibly even dates. But it's, it's almost like they're trying to, they're trying to push a narrative here that their life is great without you. <laughs> mm. when in reality th <sighs> when in reality this person isn't in, in they are not in control of shit I feel like they are this is all a facade this is all a show they really care about their um, they really care about their looks or how they look to people They might even try to convince other people that are around them that, oh, I'm, I'm so happy we broke up. When it's a lie. Oh, I'm so over it. When they're not. <sighs> so they're keeping a lot of the truth to themselves. Because I feel like 
I feel like they're trying to control the narrative here about or when it comes to how people see them, their reputation possibly. They want to look good to others. They want to make sure that they don't appear as the one that lost because they want to appear like they are the prize. It's like, ooh, Taurus actually lost me. I didn't lose shit. They lost me. You know? So, okay. You know, honestly, from, from just looking at their energy, I feel like Taurus, this person was the problem in their relationship. We have the five of ones twice. Maybe you, maybe the both of you. Okay, maybe maybe you both were toxic for each other. Maybe the both of you were toxic for each other. So maybe it's not just them, but I, I, like I don't see them as an angel. They definitely are like deceptive. I want to say devious, uh, even to themselves. I want to say it's like maybe they are even like a control freak of some kind. When really they they have no control over what's happening right now to them emotionally at least. So, I do feel like this person really, really, really cares about their reputation. Like there is something about that that's that's keeps coming up here. Like they really fucking care about what people say about them. This is why they're trying to control their image. It's like they're trying to control how they appear to people or how people see them or what people see. You know what? Let me see how you feel about all of this. Let me see how you feel about this person. Just in case we have cross watchers here that are curious. Taurus, let's see how you feel about this person and what's, with what's happening here. With what's happened between the two of you, let's see how you feel, Taurus, about this person. I see you thinking about it. I see that you are emotionally confused. It feels like you share that <laughs> with this person. You are thinking about each other. You are focusing on your life and bettering your life and looking forward any uh, beginnings that are coming your way. So you're trying to accept what happened. It is what it is type of energy. It's like, yes, I'm kind of confused. I don't know what to think about this. But, you know, life can be confusing. And, um, and I look forward to the next beginning. There is like a sense of acceptance here. But I do see that you think of them. I do see that you are emotionally confused. Maybe maybe the way things ended between the two of you, or maybe there are other reasons that could cause the confusion here. Emotional confusion, especially. I do see when you think about this person, you kind of like reach a burnout when you think about them, which means that you could overthink things and you end reaching a point where you're like, oh, fuck it, it is what it is. It's confusing, I don't know what to make of it. I just look forward to a new beginning. Maybe the next person will be better or maybe the next situation, connection, will not be as confusing, will not be as fucked up. I do see that you are attracted to this person, Taurus, meaning that maybe you don't really... You can't really find someone that turns you on the same way this person turns you on. But at the same time, it's like you don't want that to control how you see this situation. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck on, on them just because you're attracted to them. So I see that you're being logical about this and you're, you're kind of trying to uh, get out of this. with time. Wow, you have that in common as well. Didn't we say at the beginning that they are waiting for something? Yeah, that that that's going to help 
Then move on from you. You do have a lot of things in common here. Maybe the only difference that I see is that you are kind of like more accepting of um, of what's happened and you're trying to move on from this and you're not going to be stuck on this or you're not going to be stuck on someone that you're attracted to. I don't see much of emotions here. I don't see much of feelings. It's more like it, it's more like confusion. Maybe you don't know how you feel about all this yet. So I see a lot of thinking, a lot of confusion. But you kind of like have this logic that is telling you, hey, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, let it be. Yes, I'm attracted to them, but I'm not gonna be stuck on someone that doesn't want me or, you know, that isn't good for me. So you're kind of being logical about this rather than emotional. <sighs> I'm gonna pull advice. What is supposed to happen here? It's like, what's the point of this fucking reading? <laughs> because you're getting me confused. What is the advice here for Taurus? You might not want to hear it. Cross watcher, you might not even want to hear it as well. Because you and this bitch are reconciling. <laughs> you and this person are going to reconcile. It's a matter of time, yes. You know, you and this person have this idea that time will heal. You know, it's okay. I'm going to move on with time. When time passes, things will heal. And you and this person have the same concept. It's like, let's let's allow some time to pass. But what I see here, when time passes, you and this bitch are going to reconcile. Like, no joke. Lovers, you're going to be together. And this is not something that is up to you. This is controlled by a higher power. This is kind of uh, indicating either a soulmate or a twin flame. Most likely to be a twin flame just because of how dramatic this is. Because twin flame journey can be very off-putting. Twin flame journey can be like confusing. Like both of you are fucking confused. Uh, it takes time, which both of you think that it's gonna help you separate and heal, when really it's gonna unite you again or reunite you again. So you and this person are going to be together. There is a higher power here that is in control of this. And it's not really up to you. Because this feels like an orchestration of some kind. Where spirit is deciding how you will benefit each other. Help each other grow. Separately and together. So most of the, of the things. The struggle. The confusion. Even the argument that you two had. Is in the name of this union or if or if it's the twin flame of this twin flame connection so maybe this story it's not over this story is not over it is just an end of a chapter there shall be another chapter here <laughs> i just heard whether you like it or not that's just my spirit guides being humorous whether you like it or not, okay? This is not over. This is just one chapter that has ended. And there shall be the next chapter that is written. I feel like you and this person are meant to be. And the separation and the drama also meant to be. There's a reason for everything. And no matter how fucked up this might appear, hey, you know, it might make sense for you later on in life. Then now me telling you you're going to reconcile with someone that 
is confusing the shit out of you or and and they feel the same you know it's not like it you could be like really mirroring each other i see that you two are actually mirroring each other in many ways so i wouldn't even be surprised i'm i'm actually really leaning towards a twin flame connection so it could be a specific reading for a specific taurus okay okay then now it makes sense i'm glad i pulled the advice <laughs> <coughs> so basically spirit is telling you taurus uh make sure there is a, a vacancy available for this reunion because you're gonna be back together bitch so there is that let's pull you another message Let's play another message. <clears throat> you have a Pisces here that is that you have a soul contract with. It's a familiar, is what I want to say. Familiar, familiar energy. You are not in contact with this person anymore. They have they have something important to say to you. It's it, you know the thing that they want to say or the thing that they the, the the thing that they have to say to you is actually a download from spirit or something I feel like Spirit is uh, working through this person to deliver something to you. It could be like an epiphany of some kind or something you need to hear that you will hear from this person that could assist you in your life. Interesting. Let's see where this goes in the extended. The extended link is in the description box. I'll see you there. <laughs>